What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Horcrux here and we have an absolute banger of a video for you guys today. So I just recently posted a 10,000 crown dueling tournament on the PTS. Guys, not gonna lie, it was the most fun I've had in ESO in quite a long time. The turnout was great, the matches were just nail biting to the teeth, and I had a great time shoutcasting it. If you want to see more content like this, guys, please like and sub to the channel. Since the developers have kind of pushed PvP aside, I'm gonna try my very best to make PvP interesting and great again. So, word of mouth is the best way to spread awareness of events like this. So, please talk it up, guys. If you know any PvPers, let them know, guide them to the channel. Hey, even if you're on first name basis with maybe some of the community devs yeah maybe they can help us out as well who knows and for the true supporters of the channel i have the entire vod uploaded on my channel i also have a link down in the description if you want to go check it out with all that being said guys enjoy the tournament i'll catch you in the next one peace all right let's begin fellas this is blue king i see rallying cry already popping up this flesh king's also on dk interesting interesting i see flesh is lagging a little bit so we got burning embers engulfing flames I believe my old Vikings spin the win. I like it. Flutch Wagon on the back burner right now. Both of them running Cinder Storm. Also running Rallying Cry. Uh, Entropy going off. So pretty much kind of like the exact same builds. I think Blue Metal Vikings get a lot of pressure here. He, he's got to make some distance. Puts his Cinder Storm down. Beautiful dude. Well played. Well played. Just got reset. Rewind. Oh, this is this. Oh, bro. I right, beat you to it, brother. Yeah. Uh, this lag is pretty rough yo good fight blue viking good, good fight dude but don't worry this is double elimination you're gonna be up in the losers back at very first yo thank you so much yo it's really good fight over really quick yeah absolutely just kind of caught you off guard with that one so first win's gonna go to flutch oh my bad so he's gonna go on to the next bracket so a blue metal vikings down here on the loser brackets as you guys can see or you can't kind of really see i'm kind of in the way but you you, you you can make deal with it yo good fights dude so it's gonna be the first arcanus main and flush again uh empty your ult i haven't seen arcanus empty your ult oh there we go thank you very much all right let the duel begin boys let's go all right so we have arcanus main on the word and about to show us how it's done boys on a duel warden at that and very interesting I can't really tell what sets he's running just yet. Beal's going down. See if he can land his nice little burst here. What about CC? Oh, CC Arcanus is actually running. This will be really interesting. Oh, not, not seeing Arcanus punch the ground with the Beatles. Typically, you want to use the Beatles on cooldown, right? The Red Cross is calling me, not donating any more blood. Good deal. So flesh infection is going out. So typical DK stuff. Stand in your single storm heal, apply all your dots, right? Wait for all your your dots kind of come off cooldown for to start ticking together and kind of go on the offensive. Um, haven't seen the uh, the first ultimate came out. Both players running rallying cry, stated above. So we got about another three minutes since this is a five minute tire uh, timer, excuse me. Yeah, the Baja blasting was pretty funny. Both players kind of playing a little bit slow right now. Uh, Arcanus keeping Fetcher Infection up. Obviously, you're waiting for that moment where they drop around half health. So here comes the first old Northern Storm from Arcanus. Is Flush Wagon actually going to be able to get out of this? No, so he's just tanking it like an absolute G. Spam Coag a few times, a couple of Vigor, standing in Cinder Storm, completely avoided the first ultimate round. So that's huge for him. So now Flush Wagon can potentially go on the offensive. First leap, or maybe second leap, probably missed it because I'm trash. So both players pretty tanky, surprisingly. Uh, Baja Blast not having a reliable CC kind of makes this a much more difficult fight for him, I, I must say. But kudos to coming in here on the Warden. Yeah, yeah, you big, big testies on that one. Big testies. I right, going with Whip Spam. Oh, dude, getting down to half health. Now this is where the DK really has to pressure. Can't let him heal back up. Well, uh, that's unfortunate, but. Surprised I'm not seeing a little bit more dot pressure from the Warden. This is more of a bursty boy build. Only seeing Fetcher Infection on Fletch Wagon. That's pretty easy to shake off with some, some Haas. There comes out the Dawnbreaker from Arcanus. I think that's more of a Desperation Dawnbreaker than anything. I'm trying to get that CC off. Alright, so we have uh, 
two minutes, 10 seconds, guys, left on the duel. Arcanus get down pretty low. Vampire passive probably coming in clutch there. As you guys know, Vampire is not banned, just the use of the skills thereof. So Plus just taking a little bit of damage here. The unyielding dots on Arcanus is pretty rough. Leap comes out, big damage from that. Oh, is it pretty low? Can he hold on? Can he hold on? He's pretty low. DK is going to have to reset though, because as soon as you start letting your bus fall off, it is, it is GG no re. Uh, the duels are determined in stalemate. I'm going to put a poll in chat and we're all going to vote on it together to see who wins. Yeah, Ash is very strong. It is something we are going to consider um, nerfing going into the, or not nerfing, um, excluding during the, the next duel. I mean, the, the next tournament. We'll just have to see how it plays out. It's really hard to force a DK out of his, uh, his Ash Storm. Arcan is having to play a little bit defensive right now because of the ongoing dot pressure from Flutch. Completely understandable. Since we have Mars Bomb, nothing to cleanse all this, so it's very difficult to heal through all this. All right, so we have 43 seconds left, fellas. Watch out, you're putting on a click. He does get caught by the Dawnbreaker, though. Okay, he's caught outside of the Storm, gets the reapply off, all right. Spam and Coag, wonder how his resources are. CC comes out. I think that was more of a, just to create space, just so he can get some of his resources back for sure. I see Fletch lagging his dick off right now. <laughs> he is struggling out of respect. I appreciate that. 11 seconds, but it is what it is, boys. Gotta get a better router, Fletch. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. All right, duel's over, fellas. Done. Timer up. The second round, Flush is fighting an uphill battle this entire time, guys. Y'all are going to give it to the Arcanus, so he's going to be moving forward. That means <laughs> Blue Metal Viking, you have your rematch against Flutch. All right, so the next fight is between Katano and Electrician. Okay, accept the duels, do a double jump, and here we go, boys. You need some cosmetics, Katano. All right, so we have a Mag Sork in here. Look at this, guys. A Mag Sork against the DK. Now, this is going to be interesting. He's Noxious Breath. Double Dot Poisons on the Mag Sork. Mag Sork just trying to dodge, dip, duck, dive, and dodge. Trying to stay away from the DK. Be hopping as much as possible to keep as much range as possible. So, Katana's actually in a little bit of trouble here. If the Mag Sork is able to catch you like this, you have to burn so many resources on the Dragonite just to keep up. So, if he doesn't have a Gap Closer, or a way to stay on this orc, you might actually be in trouble. You see electri electricity in here run the master's ice staff, or excuse me, the inferno staff, it looks like for the CC. A really smart play since you can't use streak. So Katana looks like he's using a dot build. He's got uh, he's got uh, rending slashes as well as Venomous Claw, Noxious Breath, Brain Stats Effect. That's a desperation leap if I've ever seen one to get the overshield back to hopefully reset the fight. Now what I'm worried about is when the sword comes out with the overload. So he's building up his ultimate right now, probably it's like 200, 250 overload. Just so he can absolutely just just pressure the shit out of the Dragonite. Now, Wings is not banned. Keep that in mind, guys. Wings is not banned. So, keep that going for you know, keep that in mind going forward. So maybe in the rematch, if Katana ends up does losing this fight, and kind of going since he now knows his opponent, he might be able to adjust his wheel kind of going forward into the uh, the loser bracket. Absolutely. You had an appointment. No, I'm sorry about that, Vert. All right, still waiting on the ultimate to come out from electricity, and you're just kind of waiting on uh, the perfect moment for the dragon. I'm pretty sure, yep, now, if I was the Magsar, right now is when I'd be popping my ultimates. Whether it be Meteor, Dawnbreaker, what have you, and getting off a of Dark Conversion, get some resources back. Amazing kiting here, amazing kiting. Nice to be hopping. This is exactly how you play the Magsar in duels. ABH, guys, always be hopping. ABJ is always be jumping. Oh man, Katana's feeling the pressure. I, uh, Kudo's not using uh, Ash Cloud though. Absolutely. 
He's gonna have to heavy attack get a lot of his resources. Seems like he's struggling a little bit. I can throw out a little bit more CCs, but he's doing all he can. Oh man, here comes the overload spam. Oh, the sword being very, very conscientious and not just blowing his load. He's timing his overloads very, very precariously. I really like that instead of just unloading all at once. I really, really like that. Free free roll dodge, typically what you want to do so you're not eating any big dick and molten whip damage. So this is where not having corrosive really, really bites a stam DK in the ass. I'm not sure what the other set is running. I don't know if this is uh I'm trying to take a look at the debuffs here on electricity and Oh, not sure what other sets he's running, to be honest with you. Really kind of hard to pinpoint point this build. I'm surprised uh, Katano's not using the, the Master's Ice Staff to keep up a little bit more pressure with uh, the, the, or the, 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 excuse me, the Vaceran Ice Staff. All right, guys, we have a minute 30 seconds. I forgot to say you guys at the timer. That's my bad. A minute 30 seconds. So I'm taking a lot of pressure though. Now, if this is a DK, this is the time you want to be up on him because he doesn't have a direct heal. The only way that Electrician is going to heal is through crit damage if he's using Critical Surge, which I can't tell if he is, or if he gets a Dark Conversion off. I don't think Katana's going to let him get the Dark Conversion off. Katana's going to be really, really careful. This dot damage does take pretty, pretty hard. Keeping his distance. Good deal, good deal. I don't think I don't think Electrician Jr. Green Crit Surge or maybe yeah he is. I see his hands going. Yeah, he's definitely running Crit Surge. Gotta get a little bit more crits here. Oh here comes the overload boys. Let's see if Katano can resist. Now's the time to CC the Sork as much as you can. Roll dodge, roll dodge, roll dodge. CC comes out just in time. 45 seconds. I... <clears throat> oh man, Katana, he's getting so low, man. He, he is struggling. Like, I've been in this position on the Dragonite. It is not fun. Sometimes the Sork dude can, like, you see, the Sork seems bad on paper, but the Sork can actually put out some hellacious damage in 1v1s. Especially doing this. Like, he's playing beautifully, dancing around Katana. But surprising, Katana is still able to, to regain resources. I'm very, very surprised. Like, like, surprised he's not run out at all. I, I'd, I'd be dead by now, 100%. Like, there's no way. Without Corozo, I'd be dead right now. So kudos to him, dude. We're dodging, trying to get close, trying to get the CC off. I right, go about 10 seconds, guys. A leap comes out. All right, duel's done. Done. We over, we over, boys. We over, boys. Five minutes is up. Five minutes is up. Elix with a 68% vote is going to go on to the next match. So this is going to put Katano down here in the uh, the loser's bracket between Blue Metal King and Fletch Wagon. So the very next fight we have going on is between Easty and also Sweetalk. There's a Stam Sork and a Dragonite. Man, we actually had another Sork in here? That's crazy, dude. Whoa, bro! <laughs> dude, that ended so quick, I didn't even get to commentate it. Bro, oh, man. Good fight, dude. Um, I didn't get to see too much what was going on there. You guys wanted to catch me up on that one. That was... That was over quick. Um, so... As we took... Uh, we talk on that one. Like, I, I saw... Easy picking... Uh, Packing kids up with that stamp sword build. So he goes on to the next one. Alright, so the next fight is going to be between Revenant and Revlo. We have Revlo and Revenant. So Revlo's already on the back foot. He has a Night Blade. I think this is the only Night Blade in the tournament, to actually. Make sure I have ESO actually pulled up here. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. My bad. Missed a lot of that. That's on me. So we got Revenant, Revlo, Nightblade, DK. I think he's the only Nightblade in this tournament, actually. So we'll see how this goes. Dawnbreaker coming out early. Oh, bro, you got to get those heals off, man. That was a juicy six-sweet Dawnbreaker. A lot of Dawn pressure, dude. I don't know how the Nightblade healed through that. That's it's, it's actually kind of crazy. A little nutty. Oh, man. Oh, man. That, that was a lot of damage. Yo, Revlo, congrats, dude. Yo, you're moving on to the next round. Sorry I missed a little bit of that. Apologies, guys. The first Arcanus main and Electrician. This will be really interesting. This will be a Mag Warden and a Mag Sork. So 
Arcanus and Electrician, step on down. All right, we, we know from last fight the electricians will be putting out a lot of damage on this sword, dude. Pretty pretty crazy, crazy actually. I may hit him up for the build afterwards. For real, for real. Arcane's trying to close the gap. Gotta keep his hots up. Arctic Blast being, you know, it is what it is. I kind of jump up here a little bit. Being pushed against the wall. He's being really pressured, dude. There's a, so much damage coming out from the electrician here. Good lord, man. I was not expecting this. <laughs> to be honest with you guys. I thought Sork was going to be absolute trash here, but... Duly noted, man. Double Dot Poison sticking hard. Curse. A minor vulnerability. Be hopping like an absolute champion, dude. You, you can't help but respect that. Go lie attacking and be hopping like that just constantly. It's, it's pretty tough to do. Flame reach kind of create a little bit of space. Arcanus is going to be on the back foot though, not having a reliable CC, not having. Oh man, that is a really good block at Dawnbreaker. Really, really had the block there. I would eat that CC. Oh, my, where'd that damage come from? Electrician, oh, he laid a shield to drop for just a second, man. That damage came out of nowhere. Good lord, what was that? That'd be like a 10k Beatles. Easy. Grand crowd's going off from both players. Arcane is playing a little nutty here. You guys keep seeing the sword damage coming out of nowhere, so he's got to be careful. I'm not seeing any Sea Serpent's Quill procs. Is that because each player cannot to get up to 100% health? So Sea Serpent Quill is not proc. So it's kind of like a useless mythic right now if you're not able to give the 100% health. Am I right? So both players are kind of playing without a mythic, maybe possibly. I would imagine Electrician's using Death Dealer's Fate. Okay, there's a CC there. I'm not sure what that was. Probably put on a CC after the first match. Kind of make the, the matches a little bit easier for him. Arcane is like going ham, dude. But he, he struggled, but he's still able to put out the, the pressure with the Fletcher Infection. I think we're going to see a surprise burst from the Arcane. Oh, dude, Dawnbreaker came out the worst time. I wonder if it actually took away the, the Dawnbreaker and whether he actually counted as using it or whether it was refunded after the CC. Oh, man. Go, Sorky, go. I see in chat. <laughs> Imagine saying Sork is bad. I mean, Sork in 1v1s is, is, can be good. Open world is a little bit different story. Northern Storm coming out. Oh, he gets the Flame Reach back on the Arcanus. Arcanus going balls to the walls here. Dude, he gets down like 1% health. Oh, my God. Oh, dude. Oh, he's trying everything he can to get this, those Sork Wards down. Bro. That was such a big ball as he played. Now he's going to pay for it. He's going to eat a lot of overloads, a lot of LE weapons. The fact that he can live through this is incredible. Oh, my God, dude. Going down to a bee's dick worth of health is just constantly, dude, 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 my asshole is clinching just watching this. Like this is, this is making me stress. I'm, I'm, I'm getting the nervous sweats over here. So we're still powling down on the pressure, dude. Not letting our canis get any space whatsoever in this fight. Oh my goodness, dude. Hey, once you kill the back foot against this build, it is over for you, friend. Good Lord, CC's coming out, trying his absolute best to regain the fight here. See what our timer's at, guys. So we got one minute, 26 seconds on timer. 120 on timer. Just so the guys have an idea of what's going on, whether they need to make certain plays or not. Overload coming out from the Sork. Oh, is this going to be it? Oh, it's kind of a really weird rubber band there. Oh, good fight, dude. Yo, beautiful fight. Good fight, guys. Good fights. Good fights. Yo, Lexi, I'm moving on to the next round. Holy guacamole. Uh, no one's using Cinder Storm. Very interesting. I guess because, you know, stand variants are very hard to maintain Cinder Storm unless you're Magic variant. Yo, there's so many dots on Revenant right now. But it seems like they're both kind of running very similar builds. So it's all going to be about who is going to be able to apply the dots at the correct time. I do notice, however, Tweak is running a disease enchantment. So the healing is going to be reduced on Revenant. So that's going to come to bite Revenant in the ass very, very soon. Like that, that healing debuff is no joke, fellas. Oh, the first round of ultis comes out. No one dies. No one. They go for leaves. They go for the Dawnbreaker. Interesting choice. I really love that. Yo, get the fuck out of the arena, Architect. Get up here. <laughs> Ruining the show. Yo, these players are very evenly matched, though. Kind of looking at the builds. This kind of looks like a, a Kind March or someone joining Kind March, maybe. I'm trying to identify the other builds, but I really can't. Ruining slashes. There was a Blood Craze. Can't tell. Man, these DKs are fucking going at him, man. Like one little slip up, you're you're dead. Like, in, in this fight, one little slip up, you, you're absolutely yeeted and deleted. I mean, these players are really good. Like, you're watching the lie attack weaving between the two. They're not missing a beat. All their buffs pretty much being applied at the exact same time. 
good shit, guys. Oh, the, oh second Dawnbreaker comes out. Catches Revenant down. Oh, is he going to be able to recover? Coag, Coag, Coag. Oh, oh second Dawnbreaker comes out. Oh, trying to catch Weed Talk on the aggressive. Trying to catch him with his pants down, boys. All right, so we got another like 15 seconds between the, the next round of ultimates. Will these players actually need it though? They're, they're getting very low on their own. I think what it's gonna come down to is resource management. It's like whoever runs out of magic for the Coags first is it's probably gonna be a loss here. Boss lives coming in about the same time. Players can reset, get all their buffs, debuffs going. Oh man, this is really good fight so far. You just watch watching their oh good fight we talk yo kind of revving off guard there yo. Good fucking fight, we talk. GG's, guys. GG's. GG's. Well played. Well posture. Fuck, dude. dude I, I'm, I'm so excited by this stuff. I, this, this is great, man. Yo, good fucking fight, man. Holy guacamole. We talk moving on. Alright, so next is going to be between we talk. I, I'll give you a minute to kind of shake off a little bit kind of nervous you know wipe wipe your sweaty palms that was a sweaty fight go get your hand towels right so it's go going to be between electrician elix elex we're calling you alex all right and we talk is going to be next so this is a mag sork and a stam dk coming in hot next guys all right we talked stam dk against mag sork boy here we go can't expose any, any builds yet so this is kind of low-key all right getting off to a really sneaky cc there kind of set the tone for the rest of the fight and again guys sam dk has a very very hard time against sorg if they can keep the distance like this which electrics yep the electrician's doing very very well oh he gets up on him gotta, gotta be careful because i know his build fucking slaps yo so electrician's gonna be really careful with this one it's not a warden fight this time it, the, the the burst is gonna be there it's gonna be very unpredictable too i must say a lot of dots on the sorg a lot of dots he's really gotta be careful with his chills as soon as he doesn't apply a hardened ward at the right time it, it's, it's gg fellas so what we talk is doing right here is blocking all these flame reaches just so he's not gonna get cc'd very oh dude he misses the dawn breaker that oh if he landed that that may have been gg's no reason bro oh, missing the dawn breaker is gonna hurt so he's got another approximate 30 seconds to wait for the next burst very curious to see what uh Elect electrician here is going to do with his ultimate to run the uh, the Ellie weapon. Oh man, curse going out. See, see. We talk gets up to full health. It's good. Kind of feel like Sea Serpent's coil is procced. I, re I really can't see Sea Serpent's coil proc. I'm not sure if any of these players are actually running it, or I just can't see the particle effect. I don't really know. So we talk's very close to his ultimate again. So uh, the sword definitely has to be very, very. Oh, there it is. Very carefully. He, he does hit the Dawnbreaker, but. Um, either he's not running the stun or that was just a very good block by the sorcerer for sure, dude. Oh man, this, this, this is edgy. Oh, that roll dodge almost cost electricity in there. Oh, bro. Good fucking fight, man. Holy guacamole. That dog pressure is crazy. Yo, we talk. Congratulations, dude. Electrician. Yo, good fight, dude. Like brother, bringing a sork into this. Kudos to you, dude. Big testicles. Yo, good fight, guys. Big testes for real, dude. All right, we talk for now. For now is the last one in the winner's bracket, okay? So now we're gonna go through the loser's bracket. The loser's bracket at the very end is gonna have to fight the electrician for the loser's bracket spot. So the next person up is going to be a rematch between Fletch Wagon and Blue Metal Viking. Maybe they can adjust their skills a little bit if they remember each other from the start of the tournament. We'll see who goes on to fight Katano here. So Blue Metal Viking and Fletch Wagon step on down. All right, Blue Metal Viking, comeback time, brother. Rematch, you got this. Cinder Storm is going out in DK versus DK using elemental susceptibility. I'm not seeing any Vate Shran out. Maybe that's just a... Uh... Oh, dude, Viking taking so much pressure. I guess Vate Shran is out. Maybe I'm not seeing the particle effects from it. But Vikings will be really careful because Flush does have a huge amount of burst on this ability. He's... Oh, you got to break the CC a little bit quicker. I understand we're in EU. The ENA does have a little bit of ping issues. So that is definitely what's going on here. I'm very late CC there. So that, that's unfortunate. That pressure going out. Spin to win. Leap coming at the correct time. Oh, blue metal Viking. Yo, good fight, dude. Good fight. Risk it for the biscuit on that one. The, the, the leap caught you off guard there. And again, next turn, we will actually have a, a unified way of doing this. 
All right, so Revlo on the Nightblade uh, Stamp Story. This is gonna be a very quick match. I surprised. I'll be surprised if this lasts 30 seconds longer. Getting the big dick kills. Stamp Story's putting out a lot of pressure, roll dodging everything just so he can't get his uh, Merciless Resolve. Prox going to go on CC here, and he's out of his. I mean, I, I can't keep track of this. There's so much going on. Ring slashes, stamp sorks, roly poly oly. Yeah, they, they, this is this is ballsy right here. Oh my god, dude! I can't keep track of the the stamp sorks move. I can't commentate this, dude. Bro, this, this, this is tough even for me to watch. <laughs> A rune cage, interesting CC choice, actually. Um, it looks like some some cost increase poison. I, I saw the stamina cost increase poison there. Those are not banned. Perfectly valid for this tournament. A lot of dots coming out here. Oh my god, dude. That was a big dick arrow. What was that 15, 16k? Bro, good fight. I knew that was gonna be over quick. It was either the stamp sword was gonna dumpster the knife blade or the other way around. Yo, good good fight though, you see. Like a stamp sword, bro. I see the potential in that. I was watching you guys, I was watching you pack kids up at the beginning. Like I know the build is there. Yeah, absolutely, dude. Alright. So we're going to take just a little bit of a break. The next people up is going to be Fletch Wagon and Katano. So if you guys want to go ahead and get ready, that is entirely up to you. <laughs> All right, get him. Sam DK versus, uh, I'm, I'm wanting to just say a Mag DK. I mean, there's, there's really not other variants now, but you know, it's DK is DK. So. All right, so Flush is going to have a little bit of an advantage because he's able to sit in a Sinister Storm because he has a magic variant. But however, Katana does have a metric shitload of dots. So that little bit of healing is not going to necessarily be a much offset any of this. So Rally Cry going out from Flush over here. I will say Katana is putting out a lot of damage, but his cosmetics are extremely lacking, guys. All right, extremely lacking, but it's OK. We don't judge by appearance here. Fossilize going out, reapplying dots is typical DK fashion. Guy, he's keeping up the pressure. Yo, is Fletch Wagon actually granting Power Lash? Oh, this this is clever. So Power Lash, if you're not able to remove the off balance status effect, you can infinitely Power Lash for the entire six seconds of the the Power Lash. So you can just keep up the pressure the entire time. So that it's actually a very very smart play as long as you catch them in the uh, the fossilized at the correct time. A lot of whip spans. So we got whip whip nay nay. Yeah, you're very much welcome. Okay, first, you know, second leap coming out, unable to close the kill there. So a lot of dot pressure going out. Guy reapply engulfing flames, trying to keep track of what dots are on what DK. I can't really tell. Leap coming out after the fossilize. That's also a really good combo if you know your opponent is blocking constantly. Usually, if you want to get the burst off, you'll fossilize into a leap. That's almost guaranteed damage. Katano's on the back foot. He's struggling with resources. It seems like. Oh man. Flush able to kite around in a cinder storm here with the infused cost reductions. Fossilize coming out, create a little bit of space. I feel like Katana's got heavy attack a little bit here to get back resources. Big dick leap coming out. Let's keep up the pressure. This is exactly why I'd be doing flush in this situation. Don't let him get, get back up the wall. Just keep on the pressure and manage your resources. Don't let your buffs fall off. Run cry going out. Make sure you have that reapplied. Good deal. Second leap coming out. And not doing a lot of damage. Maybe that was more of a resource leap more than anything. The battle roar passive. Flush retreating a little bit to a cinder storm to kind of reset the fight a little bit and kind of stall out to his next ultimate getting released. Oh, here comes the big dick lead. I wasn't expecting him to get the lead back that fast. Holy shit. I will say, even though that Flush Wagon doesn't have a lot of damage over time effects, why? Well, no, I take the back. He actually does have a lot of damage over these. He just reapplied them just then. So take a look here. So if Katano is not careful with this off balance sass effect, the Flush Wagon just sit here and power lash the entire time and heal through whatever dot damage he's got going on. So uh, if he's not careful, uh, that, that will happen. Luckily, the off balance sass effect does apply for another 20 seconds or 16 effect seconds after it falls off. Yada, yada, whatever. All right, let's kind of take a look at the timing here. See how much time we got so far. Give it guys a heads up. We got two minutes, two minutes. Give them a heads up as soon as they plan their ult. Man, this is this is super back and forth, man. I will say between the two, I do think the uh, the Mag DK has a little bit more of an advantage because you do have Cinder Storm you can rely on. Yep, playing the typical DK game. Dots, dots, dots. See your opponent drop roll around 60% health, throw out a leap. Absolutely. All right, so now Katano should be able to go on the offensive now that he knows that Flush doesn't have a leap available. I would see him want to pressure him a lot here. I would actually, oh, that would have been a really good time for a fossilized leap right there. Maybe he's on CC cooldown, not sure. All 
Um, I will say Fletch is letting all of his dots fall off in Katana. That might actually be a mistake. All the leaps go at the same time. I'm not sure how the leap priority works in this game, but it is what it is. Yo, Flush is applying so much pressure though, dude. And Katana's been on the back foot this entire time. This 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 is tough. This is tough. Katana heavy attack and try and get some resources back. Leap comes out for additional pressure. I would imagine fossilize coming out in the next couple seconds. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. Boom, fossilize. Nope, I'm, I'm trash. I don't know how to play DK. Oh, there comes the fossilize. Oh, very, very close. Getting him down to 20% health. Much too much time we got on the time row here, guys. So we got 22 seconds, 15 seconds. I'll wait for another round. Oh, bro! Katano comes in with the, oh, bro. At the last second, he comes in with the big dead leap. All right, Nightblade versus Dragonite. Who's gonna win, boys? This, this is gonna be a good one. Dragonite is taking a lot of pressure already from the start, man. This is not what you want to do against a Nightblade, bro. As soon as you get on your back foot against a Nightblade, it, it is an uphill fight the entire time. Hopefully, Revenant can catch Nightblade off guard here. Hill's coming in, a lot of dot pressure on Nightblade. Revolution's ready for his first bow. There it is. Ooh, good dodge, dude. Good, hella good dodge. Hella good dodge. At least up. Now it's about the time for the next bow. Oh, in cap bow. Nope. See, this is the thing about. Not, oh, Dawnbreaker coming out. Nice animation cancel on that as well. It's kind of on that back draw. Get your next attack off. Yo, blocks the bow. Beautiful, dude. Yo, th these kids are really good. <laughs> Well played. See, the thing about Nightblade is like once they catch on to your tactics, like break free roll dodge, like after incaps or whatever, they'll hold the bow. Then they'll smack you with a 20k bow like out of nowhere. The bow coming out, good block. Heavy attacks coming from Revenant. A Revenant doing a really good job though. He's got to throw out some more fossilizes, get a little bit more pressure. There you go. See all that dot damage is coming out of nowhere, guys. Drop the Nightblade down to half health without even doing anything. So Nightblade does have to be really careful. There's going to be another Fletch Wagon situation. Oh, dude, missing that Dawnbreaker was detrimental. Not going to lie. <laughs> if he landed a Dawnbreaker, it may have been GG right there. Got him all the way down to like 11k health. If he attacks him, he can get some resources because he knows he's in for a world of hurt. He has the cap on him. He knows the bow's going to be coming out of here momentarily with the cap. But he's keeping on the pressure. As long as he keeps the pressure on the night, as long as you keep the Nightblade on the back where he can't do anything. The only thing you have is a one spam. Well, here it is. There it is. Yo, good fucking fight, Revenant. Yo, holy shit, dude. Good fight. Good fight. And pretty rough start already, man. All right, so we'll see if the uh, the, the Warden changed it. Let's see if he added any more dot abilities whatsoever. I feel I feel like the Warden had like literally one more dot. You put a lot more pressure. So right, here we go. Just doing DK things, man. Oh, dude, dot. Oh, bro, I didn't have time to commentate this, even collect my thoughts. It was just over, dude. Oh my god, this... DKs, bro. DKs. Yo, good fight, man. Did not even have time to commentate on that one. Good fight. Start, you fool. All right, there we go. <laughs> oh my god, Revenant coming on strong there, dude, against Katano. All right, Stam DK versus Stam DK. We've seen this fight before, boys. Let's see. You... I don't know. What's going on with Katano here? Lag's getting the best of him. Maybe it's a false sense of security, you know what I mean? Alright, Dot's coming out. CC's going out. It goes a Power Lash. C counter CC. Uh, both of them not ranks Ash Cloud. Very, very good. Oh man, Dawnbreaker! Bro, where did that come from? Oh my God, Revenant! Bro, what, what happened here? Hold on, I'm the most trapper Zayn guy in history, my friend. So, yo, for real though, man, for real. Okay, everyone ready? Restart the timer, fellas. Ults have been drained. Start the timer now. Flags down. All right, run this back. Round two, guys. Round two for you guys' pleasure. What a fucking chat. Round of applause for Katano here. Been an absolute sportsman about this one. Stam DK versus Stam DK. No excuses this time, Revenant. You've been given a second life, sir. <laughs> Make it worth it, man. Oh, man, dude, he's putting out so much pressure. I wonder where it comes from, Katano. 
Maybe there's a proxy I'm not seeing, but um, maybe not, man. All I see is a lot of dot pressure. A lot, a lot of dot pressure. Flames bleeding coming out, running slashes going out on both players. Can I keep the heals up? Noxious on both players. Got Katano out here with the fucking shovel on the on the back foot, man. I to, kudos to that. Boss line is going out, setting up the first burst. So we should be seeing a Dawnbreakers here. Very, very oh, there it is. First Dawnbreaker in the match. Leap coming out. Breaks the CC, gets a fat heal out of nowhere. Revenant gets like a, like a 15k fat heal, man. Kobe coming in clutch, man. Boss is coming out, bigger going out from both players. Keep up the healing over time. Another few seconds will be time for another round of old. See who's gonna play those first. Oh no, Revenant's on the back foot. Yo, Revenant. Oh, if you catch a leap right here, son. Oh man, worried about Revenant here on the, the next leap rotation. Should be very, very soon. Katana closing the gap here. He's trying to whittle Revenant down a little bit. He knows he's on the back foot. He's just gotta keep up the pressure. Oh bro, where's your stamina? Oh, Katano. <laughs> where's your stamina, man? Oh man. Break free. Oh, okay. We're gonna run this back one more time. Okay, right, hold on, Rev. Run that back once more, since he let you. <laughs> he said not nah for a second. Okay, okay, last one. Okay, ready? Okay, fuck it. Go, go, go. They're gone, dude. They, they, they're they thirsty, man. Look at them. Nom, nom, nom. They, they want this so bad. Got 10,000 crowns on the line, man. For, between first, second, and third place. Hell yeah. Yo, kudos to both these players, man. Running all this back. You don't see this sportsmanship in the dueling area. <laughs> or other term. It's like, kudos to these guys for sure. Oh, dude, Revenant's going down low. The leaps are up soon. Leaps, Dawnbreakers are up soon. First round rotation, we're gonna see who initiates first. Downside to initiating first is that you no longer, oh, the first Dawnbreaker comes out. Leap comes out, boom, okay, as a recovery leap, beautiful. A fossilized coming out afterwards, you'll really can see zero. Holy shit, it's so scary between these two Dragon Knights. It can go either way at any time. The red one's gotta get resources back. Huge burst hill coming out there. World dodge or dodge anymore incoming damage. Gotta reapply dots, kinda reset himself. I'd be heavy attacking a little bit more from both players. That's kinda what they're doing, kinda resetting the fights a little bit. Ultra should be going up here in about five or ten seconds or so. Now, usually in Dragon Knight fights, I always like the ult second because you can kinda set the uh, the the tone of the fight after they ult. You know you're safe. But what a lot of DKs do, they actually offset the rolls to where they, they'll just hold on to it and just hold on to it and just wait for the right moment, right? See, that, that was a huge dawn and good block from Katano there. Yo, good leap from Revenant. Oh, man. I feel like Katano leaped and then fossilized immediately after there, been GG. So this is kind of getting to know your opponents as well, kind of how they're going to play. <laughs> Katano's coming after Revenant with that shovel, man. He sees blood in the water. You see Revenant's roll dodging away, trying to create a little bit of space. Get his dots up and his hots up. No, Katana's letting himself get a little bit low. Don't get too overzealous. All right, ult should be about ready. So we're about to see a whole nother round of Dumbbreakers and Leafs to see who utilizes the best, guys. Oh, Dumbbreaker coming out. Oh, Katana, he's able to recover. Now Katana's gonna be able to go on the offensive. Big leap! Oh, did he block it? Oh god! Whew, that was close, man. If if any of that crit he'd been dead. I feel like something didn't crit, he would have been dead. Yo, good reset though. Oh, Revenant still taking a lot of pressure. Leap's going out to create a little bit of space. Katana needs to come in the fossilized right now. Good job. You know, Katana's gonna be really careful. Get two seconds, he's the immunity. Coming up. Fossilized should be going out now. If I was Revenant. Ooh, Katana's getting low, he's trying to get resources back. Heavy attacks coming out. Dodge reapplied, obviously. Revenant's creating a little bit of space. Gets health back up to full. Katano's not letting that happen, man. He gets on him really quick. Really fucking quick. 
All right, ultimates should be back up. So we're waiting for... No oh, oh, no! What kind of stun was that? What was that? Was that an off-balance medium weave? I wasn't expecting that one. Katana's gonna be really careful. That was sneaky. A Revenant's on the defense. So for now, he's gotta get back up to full. I'm assuming they're both running Sea Serpents. Gotta get back up to full. Oh, man, Revenant's in trouble. Can he come back with a Dawnbreaker? Catch Katano off with a Dawnbreaker on the next round of rotations. Creating a little bit of space. Gets Hots up. Tots up, good job. Both players playing extremely well. Fossilizing on cooldown when they need to. Always applying their buffs and rebuffs. All right, guys, about time for the burst. There it is. Boom. Leap coming out. Catches Raven again. Oh, man. How much time do we have on the timer? I've been too invested into this. All right, we got one minute on the timer. One minute. Oh, dude. This, this, this may come down to a stalemate, guys. Neither player wanting to lose, playing a little bit defensively. Kind of got to, though. All right, they have one more round of ults. Oh, Revenant's taking a lot of damage here. Oh, oh that roll dodge is very sus. Very sus. All right, this is this is going to be it. Last round of burst, guys. We replace it correctly. CC comes out. Oh, dude, he gets so low. The Dawnbreaker Elite comes out. Oh, my God, dude. Both of them block canceling like a fucking champions. Whew. If anyone missed a the block there, it would be it would be absolutely over. I don't think they're gonna get, we're going to let them get to another round of ultimates. See how much time this time we're at. We got 10 seconds. So next round of ult. Oh, bro. At the last second, bro. No. At the last second. Revenant takes it. Bro. You guys have made it to this point. Okay. You all are walking away with shit. So third place is going to get 1,500 crowns. Second place gets 3,000 crowns. And then the winner is going to get 5,500 crowns. So... Between Weetok, Revenant, and Electrician, you guys are walking away with some crowns no matter what. So, I'm, I'm going to give Revenant a couple minutes to kind of reset himself because the winner from this fight will go on to fight Weetok in the finals for a grand prize of 5,500 crowns. Yo, we got Revenant Demon versus Electrician, Magsorg versus Stam DK, boys. This is going to be a sweaty fight. Absolutely. Oh my god, Electrician's taking so much damage from these dots, man. This is going to be really, really hard for the sword to even keep up with all this dot pressure. The fact you have Mars Bomber and any direct heal, he is going to be on the back foot a lot. So if he doesn't get these CCs off, yo, Revenant's coming in with the clutch with the roll dodges, dude. Not letting him get the CCs. Oh, he's able to create some space there. Holy shit, Electrician's going to have to get some crits to get healed up. But the first round of ultimates to come up from Revenant. He's just, he, he's just on Dawnbreaker. I know he is. He's on Dawnbreaker really, really quick, dude. Right now is the time you got to keep up the pressure on the sword. Block all these CCs. Noxious coming out. Electricity and creating space. Yo, good shit, my dude. This is what you need to be doing all fight, creating the space. Making Revenant waste all his. Oh, dude, misses the Dom. Oh, no, he hits the Dom. Good block. Holy shit. I don't know if he's using the, the stun Dom breaker or the other one. Oh, he breaks the CC late. Oh man, the dot's still ticking. All extra. Oh, he's getting so low, guys. Roll dodge. Another. If, if, if Revenant gets his CC, he's done. You get CCC, he's done. There it is. Good fight, Revenant. Good fucking fight, dude. Good fucking fight. Electrician, you were playing a Mag Sword, dude, against probably one of the most OP classes right now. Kudos to you, my dude. Like, the fact that you brought Mag Sword this far in the tournament, fucking respect, man. Like, respect. You will be walking away with 1,500 crowns. You're not leaving empty-handed for bringing that baller-ass class into this. Well fucking fought, dude. All right, let's see here. Grand fucking finals between Weed Talk and Revenant. We're not seeing a lot of Weed Talk because he's just plowed through everyone. So let's see what he's really made of. Taking a lot of pressure from Revenant. The ongoing dot damage. I do see maybe some Kai Marchers that uh, Weed Talk is running. Got some major debuffs on him. Oof. Revenant taking a lot of damage here. CC comes out really quick. And both players are getting pretty low pretty quick. Again, guys. Here, I thought Mag DK was going to be the winner of this one. Stam DK is actually coming out on top. It's pretty crazy. Oh, we got we talk running the other morph of volatile armor. The, the one that gives you a little, little mini shield. Revenant taking a lot of dot damage here. Oh, man. Revenant's going to be playing on back foot for quite a while, bro. Oh, Dawnbreaker comes out. Oh, did he miss the Dawnbreaker? Oh, he, he just sidestepped the Dawnbreaker. 
he got just enough range man literally dancing on particles the uh <laughs> holy everyone's gonna reset get resources back dude th this stop pressure is crazy i know i keep saying it like a broken record but the amount of resources these players have to dedicate to just heal through these dots is is incredible no, bro, is struggling a little bit. May have met his match. We talk over here with the superior build. Who knows? Players seem very, very evenly matched. Fossilized coming out at the right times. Oh, Dawnbreaker. J j just throwing out the Dawnbreaker for the dot damage. And maybe he's going to time his burst around the, the second CC. Oh, very interesting play. That could have worked out potentially. A lot of that damage over time, and then you plan your, your second CC around a Molten Whip. That's actually really clever. That mix up between these players. Absolutely. Yo, we talk getting kind of low there. Yo, we talk's not putting out as much as aggressions before. Alright, ultimate should be ready from we talk. Kind of sizing each other up, kind of whirling each other down, waiting on the right moment. Oh, there comes out the Dawn Breaker after CC. Oh, not sure if that was a, uh, a Desperation Donnie or... Oh, Revenant. Oh, you... oh, bro. If you got CC there, you'd be in trouble. Good roll dodge. Both players reapplying dots very, very well. I've not seen these dots drop off at all. Like, kudos. Venomous Claw goes back out. Now, Revenant's not running Venomous Claw, which is uh, interesting. I wonder what's on his front bar instead of Venomous. Whatever he's done, he's got him this far. Both players back up at full. Another round of bursts coming in here momentarily. Let's see, see who gets a clutch Donnie off. Oh, Revenant going so low. Oh, Donnie comes out. Oh, good fucking fight from We Talk. That dot pressure was overwhelming, bro. Bro, good fucking fight. They're they're already at it. I'm gonna start the timer. Five minute timer. <laughs> These guys are thirsty, bro. Yo, if We Talk wins this, he takes it all, bro. Undefeated. Yo, easy. Yo, easy. Yo, thank you so much for a follow on Twitch, dude. Thank you, thank you. I mean, he's coming on strong like last time. So many dots, man. Redman backing up a little bit, kind of creating some space. Uh, first shot on Dawnbreaker should be coming out soon, assuming they're running minor heroes and potions or tripods. Uh, Revenant's got to be careful. He takes the Donnie right here. If I, was, if I was weed talk, I would just Donnie it to uh, keep the dot pressure up. Because next CC is coming on cooldown. Another two seconds. Oh, there it is. Both players predicting each other's movements, blocking each Donnie's. Oh, shit. Good fucking catch, bro. Good catch. GG's, guys. Round of a fucking applause for We Talk. Bro. Round of applause. I, I cannot even jump over the rail. Yo, round of applause for our grand champion in this ugly ass stock outfit that he came to the PTS with.